I blow. Blow. Sticks here. Let's put some sticks on. Mm. That's fine, that's fine, that's so hard. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> ah, still got no phone. Oh, yeah, I had to bring that up, didn't you? Oh, nice fire. Okay. Kinnikinnik. Waxy, mostly seed, but edible and plentiful. You just have to look. Stay close? Yeah. They use the same path for years, actually putting their paws in the same tracks. These are fresh. Great. You're driving, and now your ravine have us tromping down a kill trail without a weapon. Even Boy Scouts come better prepared. You know, General, when I listen to you, I hear my father. His rush to judgment, his blame to shame. And I bet you that's what David hears. Tell me about your father. No, let's just save our energy. No, right? let's not. Tell me. Did you ever cause him pain? Yeah. Did you ever defame what was good in him by embracing what's bad in yourself? Or did you fail to realize that the measure of who your father was is still being measured in you? And how do you measure up? <laughs> Some noise. I know we mean business. Step that way. Okay. When I distract him, you run. Everybody out but Juliet. Why? Because I have a lovesick puppy named Augie outside waiting to talk to her. I'm not going to break the rules. Are you forgetting about your recent hankerings for Hank? The rules you broke? I don't know if I want to see him. You own that much. Come on. Five minutes. Time frames work well with the lovelorn. Otherwise, they start to grovel. on the clock. Thanks. Hey. Hey. I missed you. Listen, um, 
I think there's something happening between us. You know, something that maybe is not so good. Come on, Jules. You, you gotta give me more than what you're giving me here. Being with you, it made me stronger. I like that feeling in me. All I can say is, I need time to let it grow. Yeah, that's cool. You know I'm here for you, Jules. You know that, right? Yeah. That means so much to me. I want to thank you for coming back for me. I had to. We need the tuition. No, I'm serious. It says a lot about a man. Thank you. So tell me, how'd you get the nickname Rocks? It's short for rock and roll. Really? Standard military policy is for the M16 rifle to be left in the semi-automatic firing position. Vietnam, I chose to ignore that policy. My boys were on full automatic rock and roll. The enemy was elusive, and he was terrifying. When I took my boys on patrol in the jungle, we were target practice. When we encountered enemy fire, we returned maximum firepower to their position. In World War II, the average GI was 26 years old. In Vietnam, he was 18. Sometimes rock and roll was the only thing those boys felt protected by. What do you think David feels protected by? I wish I knew. Why don't you ask him? <laughs> you think he'd give me an honest answer? Can't hurt to ask. Oh, you've seen him in action. David's always been a rebel, digging his heels in, baiting people. David is afraid of failure. Yeah. And that fear, that fear fills him full of rage. Sometimes feeling safe is the only chance a kid's got. One of the things I like up here, them. Never saw stars like that back home. Probably never loved. You see those right up there? Those are the Pleiades. And uh, those three in a row over there, I see Ryan's belt. How'd you know all that? Well, my mom taught me. She knows lots of stuff. Do you ever wish that things never happened? All the time, man. Come to any conclusions? Yeah. Sometimes we dig our own grave. Sometimes we gotta fill it back up. And just hope for the best. Sounds like progress to me, Unc. You look like you haven't slept all night. Yeah, something kept me up. What are two buddies doing? See for yourself. Like you two are finally in step, huh? Going to get breakfast. 